we have a, uh, have a short presentation of GRTGAS and the data governance journey, and I will go uh, on the return of experience on how we help uh, business situation to, to their way, uh, to their journey on uh, migration to SAP S4 ANA. I am Sylvain Charras, I am Enterprise Data Architect at GRTGAS. Uh, as Data Governance Officer, I am leading the data office, and uh, we are organizing and managing all data governance uh, from uh, IT direction. Uh, with more 32,000 kilometers of pipeline, uh, we own one of the biggest networks in Europe. Uh, we have more than 4,000 delivery points uh, all over the France, and to maintain the pressure around 70 bar in our pipeline, we use 26 uh, compression stations. We have two types of uh, customer, the shipper and end user. The end user are directly connect to our uh, pipeline. Our business model is just transport and we don't sell uh, any molecules, we just sell uh, transport capacity. The journey begins uh, a few years ago when the annual uh, long-term forecast reports that we become short of capacity on the one, pay, one main point of our network and we will need to invest in, in building a new, a new pipeline. A such investment of uh, money needs to be secure and we need to be sure that we have to do it. Uh, so we organize a lot of studies and uh, workshop between different directions and we rapidly identify that uh, even if the stakeholder has the same language, there are a lot of difficulties to understand each other. They use the same concept for different perspectives. Let's see, for example, uh, the capacity. The capacity concept, uh, when it's used in the project direction, uh, it's report to the pressure in the pipeline. Sorry, when, when you are at the sales direction, you, you uh, use capacity to, to, to refer to the energy you sell. And finally, as a dispatching, relate to uh, gas flow. So uh, we really need a business glossary and we uh, launched the first data quality studies and the objective is to define three concepts for three perspectives. Uh, we decide we define three new, uh, three new concepts. The concept of physical capacities that will be used by the project. The sales will talk about commercialized capacity. And finally, uh, the dispatching uh, are going ahead with the terminology of technical capacity. At the end, we demonstrate that we don't need to invest in a, in a new uh, pipeline. The data, the data governance are on the road at GRT hands. Following this first um, one shot, and uh, we keep working with the business direction on the operational needs or uh, business closely definitions, uh, like uh, we, we do with the master's data, uh, we new uh, IT systems. We also work with a new duration and uh, set up all the data governance uh, management. We define uh, policies, we uh, degrade some roles and responsibility, we name some data owner and data manager. With the growth of the data governance in GRTGAS, we have a new uh, data manager. This new data manager, uh, often struggle to know what the journey is to, to master their data management, their data. They, they know that they have something to do, but they don't know how to start. At the data office, we think the best way to start is to establish a data roadmap. To establish the data roadmap, we, would, we, we have to, to change our approach with the business relationship. So we want them to decide and to set up to, to do the, the work and they are actors as the definition of the data roadmap. We work with the data design, with, with the design lab in GRTGAS to offer a new uh, kind of support based on new way of working like design thinking. We use design thinking because it allows all business to work together and define and uh, build the roadmap. 
We finally arrived to, to offer um, three phases uh, support. The first one is emphasis. During the emphasis, we are going to collect the daily routine of the business. The business will express their needs, uh, their expectations, uh, their pain points. The two next phases are uh, workshop, collaborative workshop, when we put a lot of stakeholders working together to, in the first step, uh, define, uh, identify and map the, 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 the data in, in their domains. So we got some landscape of the data. And the second one is prioritization. They need to choose what they want and what has the most value for them. We think that this kind of support shouldn't be longer than three months. This new offer on the shelf, we have to find um, a duration to work with. We have the, the opportunity to work with two, of, two new business duration, the financial duration and the uh, procurement and supply chain duration. They just engage in the new project, migrate to run SAP S4. So before starting, we need to fix the goals and be sure that we, we are going to meet their, um, their requirements. So for this one, the three goals are identify the initiatives, set up the roadmap, and both direction ask us to uh, foster the collaboration between their stakeholders. When we are okay on the timing and everything else, we can go ahead on the first phase. In FACI, the purpose of this one in this context is to have to identify the main data domain. Data domain will be used after that in the next step to uh, define some part of works. In FACI, we meet maybe 40 people uh, in different interview or short workshop. Uh, the people come from uh, different horizons, from the bottom to the top level management. We, we work also with the board of each direction. The deliverables of the empathy are two, two, two tips. The first one is insight for the project. Uh, insight for the project, uh, tax challenge, we identify uh, data challenge, project and business tax. We put that for the project. Uh, we also collect a lot of uh, information from the stakeholders on their fields they easily identify and if they have some case success factor to, to, to give us. Uh, we also, for each data domain, collect a lot of insight of the pain points they, they encounter now, the, the usage of the data uh, they do, and to, to get some activities in the process. We identify the partnership and the personnel that we put at the beginning of the project. On the data side, for each data domain, we identify and we summarize every uh, thing we collect on different things. First, the data product. And after that, we, we go ahead on the data. We, we would like to identify master data and the data they, they use. And where this data come, is that internal data or external data. We also collect a lot of pain points, data pain points. We can categorize them in five categories. Um, this category are really classic and we find it in most of the uh, company. We've got uh, five categories, data accessibility, data quality, data knowledge, data pooling, and data synchronization between IT systems. At the end of the first phase, we uh, do a meeting with the steering committee to, to decide the next step of the project. So uh, data office uh, proposed uh, six initiatives to, to engage in the roadmap. Two of them will be not um, traced, uh, organized uh, by, the pro by, by, the, by the, this support that's business process and reporting. The, the project has some lot of challenge about simplifi 
kitchen standardization of the business process and reporting that they will address this problem, this uh, initiative later. So we have four what I call data enabler. The four are master data, data life cycle, business glossary, and data quality. The steering committee, composed by the data owner, data manager, who are at the board of the, of the direction, decides that the next step will focus on master data. We need to identify the master data of each direction, and the study we are going to launch on the master data will address the three other data enabler, lifecycle, glossary, and data quality. The, the second phase can now start data mapping. So workshop, two one day workshop with more than 20 stakeholders in the same room for one day. The purpose of this workshop, of these workshops are, are two. First, have a clear view on the landscape of the data. And secondly, have the, the flow of the master data. So the outcomes of this workshop are a list of data organized in uh, referential and master data and transactional data. And a first map of the uh, master data flow between data domains. At the end of this workshop, we got more than 50 referential and master data to address. That's too much. We can go ahead with all this um, stuff to do. So as a next steering committee, we decide to focus only on the 10 most shared master data. And we also um, design of the uh, criteria for the prioritization. We identify and we decide to go ahead with five criteria. Data usage at the stop of the project and at the stop of the company, the link with the other ongoing IT program. And finally, two more business-oriented uh, criteria on the pain points and the business value. Last phase is prioritization workshop. Once again, one day workshop uh, with 20 stakeholders, once again, from the bottom to the top in the, each, in the same room at the same time. And everyone can give his, his view on which is most in, more important than other. The first step of the workshop, we decide to weight the criteria. We don't want each criteria have the same weight. So collectively, we decide which, uh, which criteria weight how many. And the second step of the workshop, we, we evaluate each of the 10 master data studies that we want to launch regarding to the five criteria. At the end of the day, we've got the top three um, studies that we have to launch. They are customer, product, and industrial assets. After three months, there's a lot of benefits for the, the business direction for the IT program. The first one is data landscape. We now have a clear view of the data ecosystem and uh, what, which domain, which data is critical and is vital for the business. Secondly, the roadmap. We have set up a shared data roadmap for the next six months. And we already launched the Swiss first studies um, around uh, master data. We also give a lot of insight for the project. Uh, insight from uh, expectation, process, and personnel. And finally, we, we foster the collaboration between um, both situations. This direction used to be uh, silhouette oriented, and now they are talk uh, a lot each other. Case success factor. For us, without a high level sponsorship, this kind of support can't uh, succeed. The second thing is upstream work. We have to set the goals and uh, share the objectives. And one key point here is to identify the business stakeholders. We need to have the right stakeholders at the right time. Suitability, availability, and maturity are the keywords for identifying the business stakeholders. 
And finally, if you want to have a, a good handover with the IT project, we need to onboard them as soon as possible. IT project was at the board of the uh, studies. They were sitting at the steering committee. Three months, that's short and that's very long. A huge amount of work has been done, but the data office um, so, uh, grows a lot during these three months. The visibility of the data office is now uh, spread all, all over, around the Artegas. We are not trust and identified as a, and recognized as a key partnership, and we can uh, secure an IT program with the data. Thank you very much for your attention. I stay available for any question. Don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you again.